In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 13, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Red Sox vs Detroit Tigers Boston and Detroit will wrap up their three-game series on Wednesday afternoon at Comerica Park. The Red Sox opened the season with a series loss against the Yankees, while the Tigers lost their series against the White Sox. Detroit recorded a 3-1 win in the first game of this series. This story was published prior to Tuesday afternoon's game. The Red Sox certainly expected to have a better start to their 2022 season than they've had thus far. Granted their first series was against their rival Yankees, they'd still prefer to not be sitting at 2-3 in such a tough division. They haven't had a day off yet as they had to head over to Detroit after their prime time Sunday night baseball game in New York. The fatigue seemed to show as they went down 3-0 early on but were able to come back with their reliable bats of Kike Hernandez, Rafael Devers, and J.D. Martinez. That trio will now face the Tigers' Eduardo Rodriguez. He wasn't overly impressive in Detroit's opening game against the White Sox, and now faces another great lineup in his second start. Boston's Nathan Eovaldi didn't get a win in his first game either. However, he continued his success against the Yankees with seven strikeouts and five innings of work. The Tigers have Robbie Grossman and Jonathan Scoop who can make great contact but those two cannot keep up with such a loaded Red Sox lineup. There's a great chance Boston has five hitters in the top 100 and hits yet again in 2022. They were even able to come back from that deficit yesterday without an RBI from Xander Bogertz. If he is able to get into the mix early on Wednesday, the Sox may not need to come back at all in this one. Boston has won five of the last seven played in Detroit and eight of the last 11 overall against the Tigers. Detroit starting pitcher Eduardo Rodriguez will be facing his former teammates when on the mound Wednesday for Detroit. Detroit. The left-hander was hit hard in his first start by the Chicago White Sox last week, allowing three runs on four hits in four innings. Rodriguez has a 6.7 ER after his first outing of the season. The Detroit Tigers have been on the struggle bus offensively this season, and now they're facing a tough pitcher with high-powered stuff in Eovaldi. Eduardo Rodriguez wasn't great in his season opener, and he spent a lot of time with the Red Sox so these guys should know what to expect. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. The Red Sox are facing a pitcher who they are very familiar with, as Rodriguez is making his first start against his former team. He did not have impressive numbers last year, turning in a career-worst ERA. Boston has the potential to hang a crooked number any time it takes the field. Meanwhile, Detroit has a revamped lineup that should be much better in 2022. Eovaldi struck out seven Yankees in his first game, yet the same still ended with a total of 11 runs. Rodriguez and the Tigers had a total of nine runs in their first game. There should be no concern with Kike, Devers, Bogertz, and company to put up their fair share of this total. As long as Grossman, Scoop, and Javier Baez can continue to make contact, both teams should contribute enough to go over the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Minnesota Twins The Los Angeles Dodgers will close out a quick two-game interleague set against the Minnesota Twins on Wednesday afternoon at Target Field. These teams are set to meet in the series opener late on Tuesday night after the time of publishing. Los Angeles enters Monday's action at 1-2 on the young season, while Minnesota is off to a 2-2 start. Each of the last six head-to-head -head meetings have gone in favor of the Dodgers including a three-game sweep in Los Angeles most recently in July of 2017. A fully healthy Kershaw is hard to bet against, especially when he is backed up by the Dodgers' modern-day murderer's row. Kershaw's 2021 results may not have been his best ever, but they were still terrific and his StatCast numbers are a dream as well. His fastball spin rate was in the 95th percentile, and he used it to generate a whiff rate in the 94th percentile, and his nasty curve earned him a spot in the 90th percentile for chase rate. His fastball velocity might be down from his peak, but his elite control more than makes up for it. He can shut down any lineup, 
even one that has Carlos Correa in it. Chris Paddock stunk against the Dodgers last year and over the course of his career quite frankly and while Clayton Kershaw doesn't look like the ace he once was from a health standpoint, he's still the more reliable arm here with the better lineup behind him. Los Angeles will have veteran Clayton Kershaw on the mound for the first time this season. The Southpaw did not have a strong season last year, but won 10 games nonetheless. Los Angeles has won each of its last six head-to-head -head with Minnesota. The Twins have lost 22 of the last 32 when playing at home versus a left-handed starting pitcher. Paddock's best days may still be ahead of him, but he'll need to be nearly perfect to beat Kershaw and the high-powered Dodgers lineup will be too much for him to handle. So the Los Angeles Dodgers money line is our full game side pick. They couldn't get much going against Andrew Heaney on Monday night, and Kershaw is a much tougher left-handed opponent. Given the breadth of quality relievers the Dodgers can bring in, things won't get much easier on them after Kershaw hits the showers. It's never the easiest bet to lay money on the under when Los Angeles' powerful offense is in play, but Paddock's elite control had him in the 95th percentile for BB percentage in 2021 and will help him to keep things from getting out of hand. I think I've made my point about Kershaw still having elite stuff, and I don't expect the Twins to generate a lot of bass runners in this game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. St. Louis Cardinals and state rivals will close out a two-game series on Wednesday afternoon at Busch Stadium with the Kansas City Royals visiting the St. Louis Cardinals. These teams will meet in the series opener late on Tuesday night after the time of publishing. Kansas City split a four-game series with the Cleveland Guardians to open the season, while St. Louis took two of three from the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Cardinals dominated the 2021 season series 5-1 and hold a 19-6 advantage in the rivalry since 2017. While it's still very early in the season to draw much from statistical betting trends and data, there are already some encouraging signs for a Cardinal offense that finished just 20th in runs scored in 2021. With young bats such as Tyler O'Neill and Dylan Carlson coming into their own, this lineup is poised to put up a lot more runs this year. Wainwright was great in his first game of the season, and he's coming off a nice year. In 2021, Wainwright went 17-7 with a 3.05 ERA and three complete games and 32 starts. It was his second season with 31 or more starts in a three-year span. As for Grank, he had a nice showing against Cleveland in his debut and also performed fairly well last year. Adam Wainwright is showing no signs of letting up after an excellent start on opening day and won't have issues carving up a struggling Royals lineup. Look for the St. Louis Bats to get to Grink, while Wainwright takes care of business on the other end. I like both starters to have good outings here, but I think the Cardinals will dig out the win in the end. So the St. Louis Cardinals' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams are sending their number one starter to the mound backed by some good high leverage bullpen arms, and helping both staffs is the fact that these could be the two best defenses in baseball. Kansas City's infield trio of Lopez Bobby with J.R. Adalberto Mondesi is about as good as it gets, while the Cardinals have fantastic defenders at premium positions like center fielder Harrison Bader plus Arenado at third. The Royals are still counting on a lot of unproven young players in the lineup and didn't do well at the plate against Cleveland with a 63 WRC plus for the series. The Cardinals have played in several high-scoring games already this year with the over 3-0-1 in their first four games. The over is also 3-0 in the Royals' last three games. With that being said, Wednesday's pitching matchup will feature a pair of aces who are seasoned veterans both proving they have plenty left in the tank. The Royals are averaging less than four runs per game thus far and won't have many answers for Wainwright on Wednesday. With these two starters on the mound, scoring runs against both teams is going to be tough for the respective offenses. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.